Well, that's Horse Tooth Reservoir outside of Fort Collins, and it is uh, kind of quiet right now because most folks are here to watch Colorado State, the hometown team, take on Boise State. And that if they were to do that, that that young man who will be the winningest quarterback in FBS history might get the award. Boise State won the toss to Fort. Colorado State receives. The Rams are in all white today, and this is Derek Good taking it out of the end zone and coming up just shy of the 20-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Rams. Martin again, and it looks like he may have enough to pick up a first down. Forward progress to the first and 10 from the 42. More, plenty of time. Receiver wide open over the middle, and that's going to be another first down. Matt Miller on the connection. Moore fakes the handoff, rolls to his left. That pass is complete to his tight end, and that's going to be another Bronco first down. Four. The ball at the 26. Martin straight up the middle, has the first down and a whole lot more. In fact, he's got a touchdown. 26-yard touchdown run for Doug Martin. And what a perfect mix of pass and run on that drive. So Kellen Moore and company have it first and 10 from the Bronco 21. Here's Martin, his fourth carry of the game. A beautiful spin to get away from one tackler and pick up big-time yards and another Bronco first down. Stopped finally at the 35-yard line. Three receivers to the near side, and this is Martin again off the left side, and again he's got himself a big gain and perhaps another touchdown. It's a sprint to the end zone, and Martin wins that race. Another touchdown for the Bronco running back. That was a combination of two factors right there. Obviously, it was a well-blocked play. They were turned away on a fourth down try on their previous drive. Moore steps up, pass over the middle. That is caught. That's going to be a Bronco touchdown. Shoemaker into the end zone for Boise State. 52 yards on the play, and there they get that third touchdown of the first quarter. Well, the problem here is the State is one for two on third down tries. Pass complete. Yeah, that is a first down. Mitch Burrows. First down play. First and 10 from the 36. And this is Harper getting to the outside and getting into the end zone. Touchdown, Boise State. 36-yard touchdown run for Boise State. Backup running back D.J. Harper. Well, once again, it's a case of the safety Austin Gray taking a bad angle. You don't get points for the ladder. Carter tripped up, brought down. Is the football loose? The officials say it was, and Boise State has the football. Ebo McKende, I believe, came up with the loose ball. Well, as the saying goes, when it rains, it pours. Finally, you get something that goes your way. You get your initial first down of the game in the very next carry. You cough the ball up. Carter heads into the line, and he's stripped there by number 37. That is McKinley who That's stripped McKinday. it. 11th fumble, fifth loss this season for Colorado State. Moore steps up. He's still perfect. That pass is complete to Burroughs. That's coming. Shoemaker across the 15, the leaps to the 10. And guys and put them in situations every day in practice so that when they get to the game, they're not surprised by anything, and that allows them to play with a much quicker pace. And now there's Moore connecting for the touchdown to his brother Kirby Moore, the sophomore. You know, on both touchdown passes that Moore has had, he does something. Points a game over the last 10 years that's pretty dominant on both sides of the ball. Excellent point, and they say that there's a, a great relationship between the offense and the defense. On first down, going deep is Thomas. Kaufman lays out and makes a dynamite catch. Jamar Taylor was covering on the play. Uncle territory, Gilmore goes in motion. The ball at the 27. This is Gilmore. He wants to throw. He does. He's got Brown, and the Rams have a touchdown. Doug Martin 
across the 30 to the 35. Boy. Third down and two. Moore to the air. That's complete. Big play. Kyle Efa brought down from behind at the 15-yard line. Davis Burrell. He split to the near side at the bottom of your screen. That's Burrell's in motion. Burrell takes the handoff from Doug Martin. Runs a long way to pick up about three yards. The ball comes loose right in front of the sideline, and Colorado State comes up with it. Momo Thomas forced the fumble, and he recovered it. It's a great job by Thomas of doing both. And the ball at the Ram 18-yard line. Thomas, good protection, pass complete. This is Gilmore, penalty flag on the play, and Gilmore still going. Pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. The flag is laying at the 14. OC State territory with 4.08 to play. And a quick handoff. Roque lops it into the end zone. That's caught for a touchdown. Matt Yim, beg your pardon, that's Charles Lovett, number five, not six, who took the handoff and lofted the pass into the end zone for another Colorado State TD. Tricking and treating here at Fort Collins. Conferences are concerned. First and ten. Moore's thrown one incompletion. That one is completed right between two defenders. Caught by Shoemaker. That led to a uh, Colorado State touchdown. Second down and 14. Pressure from the outside. That pass caught. Nice catch by Burroughs and a lot of yards after the catch. Sneaking through a little wall of blocking and Austin Gray finally brought him back down. And then a while ago. <laughs> Second down and three. Moore. Look at him just dance around. Get away from defenders and another beautiful touch pass to Mitch Burrows. C.J. James tried to catch up to Kellen, but he just could not find the quickness. And that is pushed off to the right. No good. If there is something for Boise State to be concerned about this season, it has been the kicking game. But there you go. Yeah. That's right, Freudian slip. Um, Brian Arakpo playing for the uh, Washington Redskins. Younger brother is here. And a swing pass out of the backfield to Martin. And Martin sidesteps Shaq Barrett. Line. And it's a fake punt. And the snap is to the up back. And this is a first down and a whole lot more. Shoemaker surrounded by white jerseys. Fumbled the football that goes out of bounds. It's Boise State ball. A little bit depressed over doing so well, and the fake punt takes it all away. Straight at the middle, Martin makes a nice move to get around Shaq Bell and get into the end zone, and that's another Boise State touchdown. So they capitalize on the fake punt, big 37-yard gain, and with Colorado State reeling, they get it into the end zone for another Bronco touchdown. And a tough second half against TCU because they didn't play after fumbling a couple of times, including on the one-yard line in the game against the Horn Frogs. And there's more wide open. Here's the receiver along the far sideline. Beautiful move to the inside. And that's another Boise State touchdown for Tyler Shoemaker. Wide, wide open. Two quick touchdowns on their two drives in the second half. And this second half is beginning much the way the first half did for Boise State. Colorado State had working for them. Thomas to throw, and that pass is picked off. Shea McClellan got his paws on it and gets the ball back for Boise State. Well, they teach you if you're a defensive end that if, that if you're not able to penetrate and you can't get there, go ahead and stay back. Watch in the bottom. Now look, he sees the back come out. He hustles back. That's great anticipation on the part of number 92. Running back in Caldwell, Idaho, and as a senior, he rushed for more than 1,800 yards. Probably not going to get that kind of yardage uh, carrying that uh, much weight. Thinking it had forced a three and out of the punt, but the fake punt just completely took away the momentum. And there's another touchdown catch or pass and catch to this one to Gabe Lenahan from Kellen Moore. A three-yard pass this time around. It was seven minutes to go in the third quarter. The Broncos have topped the 50-point uh, uh, mark. As in the first half, it was in the second quarter, moving from left to right, and this punt just does get away. And it's a beautiful kick by Contadiakas. 
Burroughs retreats back to his 25, makes the first man miss, makes a few more miss, and now he's got the corner. And he's got some green real estate in front of him, and a wall of blockers helping him out. And he's pushed out of bounds, or pushed down by Shaq Bell at the 10 yard line. George Iloka makes a terrific block. First and 10 from the 10. It'll be first and goal officially. And Joe Saplick is the quarterback. DJ Harper is sprinting for the end zone. Lowered his head and he's pushed out. It looks like at the three yard line. Nope, they're going to move it ahead a couple of more yards. He's been 643 total. They had 476 at halftime. And that's better than their season average. And they've got another touchdown with DJ Harper getting into the end zone. And that pushes the Broncos north of 60. A couple of different numbers, too, on the offensive line. Yeah, yeah give it to right, right. sure. <laughs> and the victory formation decided a long time ago, 63-13. Again, Mountain College football brought to you by Dodge. Never neutral. Once again, our final score, Boise State 63, Colorado State 13. Welcome to the Mountain West Broncos. Specialized statistical information provided by Stats. Our next telecast is next Saturday at noon. New Mexico visits Fort Worth to take on the TCU Horn Frogs. Now for Todd Christensen and Roger Bailey, stay tuned for the Mountain Sports Report. It's starting right